Good evening. Good to have you with us. I'm Adam Atchison. I'm Lindsay Boach. The latest now on the trial of a local woman accused of killing her stepson. One week is now done in what's expected to be a six week trial for Letitia Stauk. She's accused of killing her 11 year old stepson, Gannon. Lawyers brought evidence and items into the court today, including the suitcase Gannon's remains were found in. 11 News reporter Melissa Henry has been following this. She was in court today at the El Paso County Courthouse. Melissa, that seemed to be one of the most difficult moments yet for people in the room seeing that suitcase. Absolutely, Adam. That suitcase was only in the courtroom for a few minutes for the jury to view. It was shown to them and then it was taken out. Now, today we're also learning more about Letitia Stouk's background, having worked in several schools around young children. We heard through testimony that she did work at French Elementary School at one point in Widefield, and she was starting a new job at Mountain Ridge Middle School as a special education resource teacher in early 2020. When applying for that job, Stauk claimed to have a doctorate degree on her resume, according to the school administrator who interviewed her. It was not clarified, though, in court whether or not she actually has that degree. A phone records analyst testified today that Stauk wrongfully used Gannon's phone number as contact information for a reference on her resume in that interview for the middle school we mentioned, which that interview took place just days before Gannon went missing. So we just heard um, Ms. Hicks testifying about the defendant giving a reference uh, for a person called Connie Huddle and listed the phone number 843-504-6724. Did you hear that testimony? I did. Um, based on um, your knowledge of that particular phone number, who is that phone number associated to? Gannon Stauk. Indicating that the defendant uh, created that reference and used Gannon Stauk's phone number for that person? That's correct. Okay. Since the start of trial, the defense team has never said that Letitia Stauk did not kill Gannon Stauk. They have been pointing their argument toward the possibility and alluding to Stauk having had severe mental health issues leading up to the moment when Gannon was killed. And the defense team has acknowledged what happened to Gannon was horrible. Live at the El Paso County Courthouse, Melissa Henry, KKTV 11 News. Likely more to come next week. We'll follow up. Melissa, thank you. Let's